I think that we've definitely, you know, we've been talking about climate change and about inequality for 30 years now as the Green Party and we've totally opened the Overton window. How are you? <laughs> so great. Together. I don't think that's the that's one anymore. It's not the slogan yeah, anymore. Yeah, that's no. fine. <laughs> and we've been talking about these things well before they were popular, so when we were considered kind of, you know, hippies or otherwise for talking about them. Uh, and now they're cool. So I consider that a win. Okay, so uh, it's a woman. She's... <laughs> You're moving her to the left. She's going away. I didn't want to bring it back to this thing. But do you, think, do, you think, do you think that's a PR win or do you think that's a politics win? Well, I hope it's, I hope it's a substantive be, win. Could, yeah. could perhaps the Green Party be, you know, using their, their time and efforts more valuable, valuably as a PR firm, if, if that's what they're trying to do? Like, is this the Grandpa cardigan or what's going, going on this here? Is, this is the bit where I try and be friendly. Okay, so. no, I don't think so. Uh, because, why? yeah, okay, so, I mean, this is going to get really dry and boring, but we, we in New Zealand operate under a system called parliamentary supremacy, yes. uh, and, you know, we've got Section 4 of the Bill of Rights Act, which says that Parliament can basically do, by and large, whatever it wants, because uh, if there's any piece of le legislation which is inconsistent with the Bill of Rights, then that piece of legislation which is inconsistent consistent yes. by and large overwrites our Bill of Rights, so null and void by the way. Yeah. Uh, so basically what that means is that Parliament can do essentially whatever it wants, like it did in the Disability I'm Carers case where it completely... Uh, we're talking about your party's ability <laughs> to influence Parliament, not Parliament's ability to, to do what it would like to do as a whole. She's so probably important, maybe in a leadership role. Oh god, role. here we go. <laughs> I'll just say it, Matidia leaving the Green Party. What I'm talking about is a disconnect currently between people and politics. So, you know, basically politicians are only really accountable to the people of New Zealand. And right now they can do by and large whatever they want when people don't really care what they're doing. Uh, and then we've got the intermediary problem of the media kind so of... So are you saying that by, by entering politics you're changing the way what Parliament looks like and, and that's the service? No, I think that what we're trying to do is trying to get people actually engaged in democracy and realise their power. Uh, it was Gone Girl, the movie. <laughs> that's my fault, that is my fault. <laughs> really don't know what I signed up for, eh? <laughs> Chloe Swarbrick. 